What are we doing today, Ashley? And now, what is this one called? This is a snatch. This is a snatch. Oh, snatch, okay. clean, maybe jerk, deadlift. deadlift. Yeah. Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. It's Ashley. <laughs> and yeah, I kind of took a break. I'm back in London and I took a break from when I traveled of like just uploading and stuff. Took the week off just to like, you know, honestly I had really bad jet lag and a lot of work to do. And so we took a week off but we're back with the vlogs here two times a week. And so yeah, this video is a little bit overdue. It's the last session I got in with Juan, um, my friend who opened his own gym. We knew each other, you know, way back when, basically high school ages. And uh, yeah, I, I was training with him when I was in LA and it was just so, so much fun. You might've seen the previous video I did with him where I hit a new personal best. He spotted me for a squat. We got a 245 pound squat. And on this video, definitely hit some new PBs as well. Um, with deadlifts and as you can see he's helped me with the Olympic lifts so this was so much fun so I got into doing the Olympic lifts very very recently I just started um, working with some coaches trying to learn them learn proper form just to do it for fun I don't have any plans to compete or anything but if you saw my last video where I covered the training that I was doing in London at the gym I go to with the coaches there like I was saying how like my body just cannot handle the Olympic lifts like like my back gets super tender super sore it was just spazzing out all day after I had gone to the gym that day and after doing those lifts and I was like I cannot live with this back pain <laughs> and so I had kind of said in that video that I didn't think I was going to be doing uh, Olympic weightlifting for that much longer and that I just kind of wanted to um you know, learn the proper form and put some weight on the bar with them. And I actually did that with Juan. So that's really exciting. A little British accent. Like it comes and goes. You guys have a water fountain. <laughs> <laughs> think one thing I want to say about working with multiple coaches and the benefit of working with different coaches is just the different cues they give you and the different ways different people explain workouts like they might describe how a movement is going to feel or what you should do to help you have proper form and just different people and how they explain things can resonate and hit you differently one thing i learned with juan with doing the snatch was uh the grip that he told me i think it was called the bear grip it's like i'm pretty sure it was my hands over my thumb honestly now it's been like two weeks since this actual workout so i'm forgetting but yeah and that's something the other coaches uh hadn't hadn't gotten around to telling me just yet but like i said i am really new to these movements i'm just now learning them but it was so exciting when he was like oh yeah you're doing you look pretty good it's decent enough let's add a little weight like i was like what we, we add a little weight 
He threw my weight on this, y'all. I'm scared. He's crazy. Like, I felt such a sense of just accomplishment having added weight, moving further, progressing in this lift to where I could do it with weight, you know, and just feeling confident in the lift. It's so enriching learning a new workout, learning a new exercise, and just getting better at it. <laughs> So even if it's going from the bar to adding on 10 pounds, it's super exciting and super rewarding. Now, shortly after he wanted to add more weight and you guys, I just, my body, I just could not handle that. Like adding the extra 20 pounds to this, I was like, this is impossible. There is no way I could like snap and get this up. And he started explaining to me how you kind of have to throw your body under the weight. But I was just like, this is just too much. <laughs> First time doing snatches, she did pretty good, I think. My traps have never been so sore in their life. The day after this workout, I actually had to go to the airport the next day after this workout. My whole upper body, my shoulders, my traps, they have never been that fried in my life. So like I just, this workout definitely killed me. Doing these exercises killed me, um, but in the best way possible. Uh, my back actually, funnily enough, was not bothered. And I think it's because we didn't do the full movement, you know? I'm not bending down, holding the bar, pulling it up off the floor. After the snatch, we started doing um, some work with the cleans. He's just giving me more instruction, um, giving me more cues so I can get my form right. It's really difficult, really trying to go like vertically up from the bottom to snap it and flip it over, um, especially because like, my boobs are on the way. So Olympic weightlifting, especially cleans, it's just one of those things that if you have big boobs, it's gonna be a lot harder for you. You get, they're always telling me, are you getting the brush reduction? You gonna have the boobs more high. If you have big boobs, it's gonna be hard for you to do cleans. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Like he's not lying. It definitely is a little bit of an issue. I kept kind of pulling the bar up and it would hit. <laughs> It would hit a boob like it's hitting the titty. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, these suckers are kind of in the way. But, you know, I did what I could. I want to say the hardest thing about doing like the cleans is really just like making sure I keep my elbows up once I like flip the weight over, like keeping my elbows up high enough. I don't have that mobility like in my wrist to do it. And so going from whole, having the grip to like, flipping it and then trying to like use my, roll it back and use my fingers so I could still keep my elbows up. It just, it was like, I was, this is impossible. Like, I don't know. Of course I just need more practice with it, but I found that extremely difficult. That's the most difficult thing for me with the clean. It's like, I can't do this without it like hitting my clavicle. And I was like, if there was actual, actual weight on this, I feel like this would be painful. And he just kept telling me, you gotta control the bar. You gotta keep staying control of the bar when you do it like that. And yeah, I was just really struggling to get that down. But you know, practice makes perfect. We're here learning and trying each and every day. Um, so we did this for a little bit and then we shortly moved into deadlifts, which were so much fun. Okay, we're starting with sumo. And he hyping me up, y'all. He's like, your sumo form is so good. He hyping me up right now. Look at him. Her sumo is pretty freaking amazing. I wish I could sumo like that. He said I should be able to pull heavier than what I'm doing. So we're, we're going to see. We're going to see. Yeah, he was like, you know, asking me, saying like deadlift is probably my best lift. And I'm like, actually, my squat is my best lift. But he's just like, oh, you're such a natural with sumo. The way you pull it, the form is really good. Like you should be able to get a lot of weight you know, and how you do this. And so that was like incredibly encouraging to hear. And you know what, in all honesty, I just feel like I've come to love squatting so much. That's why I do it with such high frequency and I've gotten so much practice with it over the years. 
and other and some I mean although I do pull sumo and I do deadlift I don't do it as much as squat and I do bench even less than both of those and so it's like now I'm trying to get more even practice amongst all of them build up my confidence with all of them and you know see growth in all of them you niggas in chalk because I'm like a real athlete out here Typically, like I work with 70, 75 kilograms. I'll do, I just started working with 100 kilograms, so 225 pounds just for a few reps. But pulling this weight with him on this day, it was so easy. I was like, this has never felt this easy. Like, I don't know, I'm probably just in my head, like I'm in my head with a lot of lifts. But I'm like, I'm. it just felt so easy with him that I was just like, oh yeah, I guess I have been kind of playing myself. Um, and he was just so encouraging and so motivating that like, yeah, I don't know. It just rubbed off on me, I guess. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Ashley's sumo deadlift is phenomenal. Like I'm really excited to see how it comes along. He was shy the first day. <laughs> now he loves camera. <laughs> I like the camera. And so after hitting a few reps with the 100 kilograms, 225 pounds, we threw on 50 pounds, and so now it's 275 pounds or 125 kilograms. And the first time I pulled it, I just, <laughs> honestly, it just was moving. It felt like it was moving slow to me. And like, I was like, oh, I need to lock this out. I need to lock out. I know I need to lock out. But I was just getting annoyed. And so I gave up. And I feel silly saying that, but it's just weird. I train by myself. I'm not used to training with other people. And then people were kind of watching me at the gym. And I'm just like, I just got in my head like, this isn't locking out. F it. <laughs> But honestly, pulling it, it did feel easy. And I was like, okay, I, I definitely know I can get this. And so we did it again. It actually was pretty easy. And so we added 20 more pounds for 295 pounds. That's right. what I'm doing y'all I don't know what I did or why I did it other than just like other than just like me being shy and feeling silly and just not used to so many eyes so after that fiasco I took a little bit of a rest tried it again for a second time but I was just feeling burnt out Like my lats, my tra just I just was feeling tired. Like this was just a long day after, you know, the snatch, the cleans. It's just, it was long. And um, yeah, <laughs> I a thousand percent feel very confident in that I definitely could have got it. Even watching the footage back, I'm just like, it's not even, like I'm a little slow off the ground, but midway, I'm pretty good. I just, yeah, if I don't, I start doubting myself when I don't lock it out quick enough and that's when I kind of give up and I need to get used to just like grinding through that and um, not being so in my head about it, like just trusting in my strength. And so yeah, honestly, more practice 
and doing the lifts more um, regularly will definitely help with that. And I'm excited to do more, especially with the deadlift. Like after all the encouragement he gave me and even on this day with the lift, like just how light everything was feeling. I'm just like, yeah, I kind of should be working with heavier weight and I don't see I feel like with a competition in mind knowing that you need to be lifting heavy knowing I have a coach and like you know someone I can train with and stuff when I need to it just make me feel more comfortable aiming for certain numbers um so I'm going to do a meet but it is a ways out like I am taking my time I want to slowly build up in my training. I want to, I'm going to be working with Juan and I want to, you know, for him to like learn me as a lifter, me get familiar with him as a coach. I'm not in a rush. I want to take my time. You guys also know I'm currently in a caloric deficit. I want to see more fat go down. I'd like to hit a 250 squat. I'd like to hit 300 pound deadlift or 330 deadlift. Um, and then with bench, I'd like to do, I don't know, 70 kilograms, 154 pounds or 160 pounds or something like that. Like if I just were to set numbers for myself in the distant future, um, I'm like, these would be pretty cool. <laughs> So this is my training day, my last training day with Juan. This actually was my last day in LA. Um, I also did the DEXA scan after this, so that'll be the next video you guys see, and then we're back to weekly vlogs. Yeah, I'm definitely excited about this journey, training and stuff. Training has definitely knocked up a notch in intensity, and even just having a goal in mind, I feel like is just making you really kind of hone in and like focus. And it's just really, really exciting. It's really exciting setting actual numbers I wanna hit for particular lifts. That's something I've honestly never done before. <laughs> Actually, well, that's not true. I wanted to do a 100 kilogram squat and then I worked up and I hit it. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, you guys get what I'm saying. I'm talking too much. I'm a go. Please don't forget to throw this video a like, subscribe, and yeah, keep on keeping on. Hope you are doing well in your weight loss, fitness, strength journeys. I'm doing well in mine. Definitely needed this break. Sorry I was gone for a week, but we'll ease it back. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.